Good morning, world! Dude, what are you doing? This is my my queen bee pose, Beyonce. I'm trying to get into character for our story today. Dude, man, you look like a spaz. You can't, oh my, did you hear what he said? He said spaz. You can't say that. You guys stay tuned. We I can't put my arms down. We have two shows today. We're going to talk about Queen B saying the word that Brian just said. And one of our local heroes here in our own area in Norco handles his business. Stay tuned. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. All right, you guys, welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my Beyonce pose, my Beyonce, my Queen Bee pose. It was very Beyonce-esque. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, but she used a word that Brian just used, and we're gonna talk about that because that was not the most offensive thing in there, but you shouldn't have said that. Okay, so remember, we're a couple old heads, as Cedric said. <laughs> we grew up, there was a movie, I'm sure most of you have seen it, called Grease. Revenge of the Nerds, mm -hmm. and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they called Eugene Spaz a couple times. Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. And Revenge of the Nerds, and it was a term, and it did mean, and I know it has to do with spasmodic something that has to do with cerebral palsy, but that's not the way we were using it. It's like if somebody was like, you know, we did this kind of thing back in the day. I know. I'm canceled. <laughs> um we called it, dude, quit spazzing out, or you yeah. know, you're being a spaz, and it... It's there and then. That's the problem. There and then. That's two different things. The only problem is you can't use it now, Brian. So did you look any of that information up? Yes. I was prepared. Are you prepared? Like Brian says, are you prepared? Do you have enough food, water, and other essentials to get you through tough times? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families just like yours. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit, which will keep you well-fed for four weeks worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. In fact, you may need it a lot sooner than that. So don't wait. Go to www dot prepare with cedric and brian dot com www dot prepare with cedric and brian dot com eugene so <laughs> yes i went i looked and that term was not derogatory towards people with cerebral palsy i didn't i had no idea it even related to that now is that offensive now i don't know it's well here's the thing i think everything's offensive now yeah brian's here to this so for those of you who don't know, Beyonce, Queen B, uh, Mrs. Jay-Z, this has been six years in the waiting, and I know you guys have been waiting for her to drop a new album, because I know I have. If you can't sense the sarcasm in my voice, I apologize. But it's been six years since she released an album. Some people are better seen and not heard. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's good to look at. Although I, I like the song Halo back in the day, right? Yes, and Halo's a great song. She has a, she has a good voice. And um, I've only heard clips because of the story going around. And it looks like they're not even using her voice. It's all like digitized. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. very. But she released a new album. Uh, it's called Renaissance. And I believe the song is called Heated. That's kind of funny. Yeah, she's a Renaissance woman. Yeah. Renaissance. Because I think lyrics back in their poetry back in the Renaissance actually had meaning. It, it's... And you're going to show us the meaning she has right here? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, here's the thing. I'm, and I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but. The word that we're focusing on is the word spaz, and we have to use oh, it for uh, how dare you use that for uh, the video purposes. But I'm gonna read a few of the lyrics. I'm not gonna read them all because it, it kind of pains my soul to read these. But spaz is the word they focused on. That's why I want you guys to, to see here. So spaz I'm gonna, is the one that's making our society so bad. So really quick, she goes tip 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 on hardwood floors, ten 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 across the board. Give me face 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 face. She repeats the same words over and over again. That's like. Kamala Harris when she says the same phrase over and over again when your teacher in high school said well you have to write a 300 word essay and use the same word 50 times to fill the gap your face card never declines eat it eat it eat it eat it eat it mmm yummy yummy yum what does that mean make the bummy and I think we, we have a very mature audience here I think she's talking about sexual acts of, uh, of, of kind of lingus or anything like that 
Uh, make a pretty girl talk that. And I'm not going to say the curse word there. Whiskey it? till I'm tipsy, the S word. Whiskey till I'm tipsy, oh. glitter on my kitty. And no, it's not, I know a, what that means. It's not a four legged animal. Cool it down, 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 my pretty. Bad, bad female dog. Make the bad okay. female dog glitchy. Okay, before you get to the, you know, the horrible <laughs> word in there, because you know we haven't heard any yet, is she trying to, to jump on the, what was it, Megan, Megan the Stallion? What's that? Oh, Megan, Megan the Stallion. And, and um, Car- uh, Cardi B. Cardi right? B with their yeah. WAP. Yeah, anything that you can wet ass. So is she yeah. trying to compete with that now? I guess. So is that the bar that we've set in our society, and you have to now? Well, I, honestly, I think you should say, "Well, this is the bar we've set." Well, yeah. And now we're aiming down toward it. Beyonce, what happened to Halo? What, what? It was a good song. I'm gonna skip down here. Yada yada ya, yada yada ya ya, yada yada yada, boom boom, ka ka, spazzing on that ass, spaz on that ass. Okay, wait a minute. Fammy, quick girl, I need my glass. They're worried about the term spaz. Spaz. When they're talking about on. Yeah, I know on, what they're saying because on her kitty when you. And when eat you, it, eat it. When you get that face, right? You yeah. Spaz at that moment yeah. of. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we're worried about the term spaz. But that's, that's the word because ridiculous. it's it's an it's an ab- that's the term I'm, I've ableist, learned. It's an ableist word, and you're making fun of those who are. Can I, can I, I guess I can say handicapped. But you're not making fun of them because you're not referencing them. In today's world and culture, you are. That goes back to remember the Joe Rogan thing we did yes. when he said the N word that had he was not even relating it to black yeah, people yeah, or. Yeah. Or uh, Wallen, uh, Morgan Wallen, yes, talking to a white guy, mm-hmm. so he wasn't calling a black person that word, right? And and we know that word is taboo, yeah. But he wasn't using it in a derogatory. She's not using it as a derogatory phrase towards people with cerebral palsy. No, not at all, not at all. I mean, I, I don't think she even knew what that meant. So why do we conflate these things? I don't know. It's weird. Like I was telling you earlier today, I had coffee with uh, one of my daughters. Her name is Jasmine. And that was her nickname as a child. Every time she was out, I would call her Spazzy Jazzy. Yeah. And she would laugh and she would giggle, and that's her name. But I guess now I can't call her Spazzy Jazzy because that she, she'll be offended. I want, if, there, if there's anybody with cerebral palsy that watches this show, please comment. I want to know if that is a trigger word for you. And if it is, we apologize right now um, that we offended you. We said and we would never apologize. I, I'm not apologizing for using word. I apologize to the person if we offend that person. Okay. All right. If because if they take it as a derogatory term, when in no way growing up did I even know it had anything to do with people with uh, spastic whatever. I don't even know the term. And this is what you were talking about earlier. Back in the day, Beyonce used to have songs with actual lyrics, and this is a uh, one of her classes entitled Halo, and it says, "I love the way you walk into the room." body shining lighting up the place and when you talk everybody stop because they know you know just what you're saying the way that you protect your friends baby i respect you for that and when you grow i'll take everyone you love along i love that beep don't fly me away don't need to buy a diamond key to unlock my heart and again not a huge and there was some poetry to that there's though. You know, there's lyrics there's lyrics and a little bit of poetry and symbolism where's this song she repeated the same word 10 times Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. That sounds like she had bird. Call, call. Yes, face, face, face. So, uh, and uh, what's her name? Lizzo. So it went from unlocking her heart to basically putting her face in her kitty. Yes. Yes. And I guess uh, Lizzo, I don't listen to her stuff either. I guess <laughs> she got penalized for the same thing because she used the exact same word. I know. And now that the, that leftist group is saying, well, how can Beyonce make such a huge error when we just got it? on Lizzo for doing the exact same thing is she not paying attention to what's going on in our world aha uh-huh. conspiracy theory yes Beyonce did it on purpose free publicity right here there it is free publicity there it is she knew I mean obviously she knows the music of Lizzo you know and that hit all the news outlets so her producer or her somebody said hey let's put this lyric in there at the beginning we'll get all this free publicity and then we'll take it out and um Unfortunately, it's not working because the album sales were way down from her last album sales. Yes, exactly. I mean, so, she's still good. I mean, obviously, she's Beyonce and she's a pop icon. But, I mean, you look at those lyrics and you're like, talk about dumbing down of society. This is absolutely. this is the lyrics that kids listen to now. That's the poetry of the day. Yes. 
I'm still, I like Beyonce, some of her stuff. I'm still just really bitter with her for one reason and one reason only. I look at her, I look at Jay-Z, and I'm like, how, how, how? How did that happen? <laughs> how? Dude, don't, don't show your jealous streak. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit, I'm, I'm jealous. I looked at her, I'm like, oh, Jay-Z. I was like, why couldn't I just be a rapper? I <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> It's incredible. Dude, you are a rapper at our <laughs> karaoke nights. That's different. Those were songs have already been written <laughs> decades ago. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so we, uh, so we wrap that up. So uh, rush right out, Again, download we'll... it on iTunes, get the new album from uh, Beyonce. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, Don't do find that. that trash. It, it, it reminds me of, uh, I heard somebody say, art, because you know, obviously this is considered art. You've got the Sistine Chapel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay stood the test of time and then you've got a guy who writes a smiley face with feces on a bathroom wall and then they consider that art too because and it's it's an expression well it is an expression but to consider that art we've really taken the term art remember how we change all words yes now art means anything well hunter biden has, has <laughs> put some art out you know what at least his looks like something you know whether it's good or bad it's you know that's for you know it's not good um <laughs> i will call this one high on cocaine yeah and if you are wasted on shrooms, it might look good. <laughs> right, it might exactly. be moving for you. <laughs> right. All right. All we right. should move into our next topic. All right. Next one is a hometown hero. Because we're in Corona. Norcos are... Actually, we hang out in Norco. We hang out in Norco Where we do our line dancing. Yes, and exactly. We'll film it next time for you. There you go. All right. So we caught this on the news. Uh, and, and being from Corona, we got it on Facebook. It pops up as a, a story. Um, an 80-year-old man... Yes. Uh, does he own the liquor store? Yes, or I believe. He, he, uh, I believe he bought it back in 1979. Okay. And I heard he sold it a couple years ago and then rebought it again. Okay. After that, we're not. We shouldn't say his name, should we? No, no, we can leave it out. I mean, okay. you can yeah. look it up. Yes. Um. So at like two something in the morning, yeah, he was there probably preparing the store for the next day. Four gunmen, right? Three yes. or four gunmen. So he sees on surveillance camera that these guys are getting out of the car with with hoods on. I don't know if the masks were over, but they were kind of like ski masks, right? Right. Well, what he saw was he had, because of one of his em employees, um, you guys can look her up later, they were approached by the sheriffs months ago and say, hey, Watch this out is happening this. a lot. You guys need to be prepared. He mm -hmm. said, are you prepared? <laughs> they said, yes, we'll get prepared. And so you'll see that he has a screen, the computer screen like we have, but it has 12 different all the feeds. smaller pictures yeah, all the on feeds it. in it. So he security. saw this car back in. At 2.30 something in the morning. Which is very abnormal. And then they're coming out with long guns. Yes. So I don't know if they were ARs or what they were, but they were long guns and with pistol grips, which is illegal. So we'll get into that in a minute. Yes. And the guy, one guy, when he got out, he pulled a mask down. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's like, okay, something's getting ready to jump off. So we'll let you see the footage from inside the store first. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure everybody's seen this, but um, you're going to get our take because we know this area. Another angle from inside. Hey, the owner locked and loaded, ready to take on whoever's next. People should know a. So he, my man, was ready with his shotgun. <laughs> he was prepared. Yeah. <laughs> and what's nice about a shotgun at that range is because it sprays a little bit. You don't have to be that accurate. You no. just aim in the general direction. Oh. Fire and um, guy, that guy didn't know what was coming. And just to he let you hear what he was saying, because this is where everybody's kind of getting uh, I don't know if a giggle is the right term to use, but I giggled. Here's the outside footage right here. Let's find this. Just before three Sunday morning, a masked man gets out of a back seat with a long gun in hand, about to enter a Norco liquor store when. Accomplices come running out after the man behind the counter fires a shotgun. The BMW is speeding off, nearly leaving a fourth man behind. And so people loved hearing that guy scream. This is not a funny situation, but I'm like, this is perfect. This is the situation where a good guy with a gun wins the battle over a bad guy with a gun, and I'm just happy to see it. So the guy, uh, my wife looked it up, the people that they, they did arrest at the hospital. So they took their buddy to the hospital who, you know, only hit his arm. He's lucky. It could have hit him right in the face. Yes. Um, took him to the hospital. He's, he's going to live and hopefully goes to jail for a long time. But, you know, 
It is California. Who knows? The 80-year-old may go to jail for this. No, well, I know he's not, but I'm just being... Well, I do want to touch on that. Yeah, we will. But so they arrested all four of them. They're yes. not even from our area. Yes. Obviously, they didn't do their homework. Nor- <laughs> Norco, Norco is different. Is horses, <laughs> guns, and freedom. That's, I, you know what? And here's the thing. I got to say, make a statement as the black man. Mm-hmm. I have never felt more comfortable in a city. Hey, he lived there. Than Norco. Yeah. I, I love being out there. I love going to public places because I know if you're stupid enough and you're ignorant enough to come into a public place in Norco and start some crap, you better be ready. Yeah. But if you go in there like you should and, and, and purchase goods and services with money that you've earned mm-hmm. and you go along and you have fun, they're not going to bother you. Yeah. But they, they will protect theirs and they will protect their own. Oh, yeah. And Nor- Norco is basically a little bit of the, the south. And the old west, right there, mm-hmm. right in the middle of a pocket of Riverside County. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so they I didn't. They it. they went to the wrong store. Yes. Two things really quick. I think the owner of the store, the eighty uh, year old gentleman, I think he accomplished his goal. Yeah, I think he, he was just simply trying to disarm. The yeah, guy. he disarmed. <laughs> see what I did there? I, I think I think he disarmed him. Yep. Number two, you said this a few minutes ago. I'm pretty sure had this store been in L.A. County with George Gascon and stuff that goes on there, we're, we're lucky that it was in Riverside County. If it was in L.A. County, I guarantee that that elderly gentleman will be being brought up on charges, yeah. which would be terrible. We've got a great sheriff in yes. in, in, North, in yes. uh, Riverside Absolutely. County. So. I think you said earlier, I think all four are not in custody. I believe uh, the, one's in the hospital. One's still. in the hospital because he's been disarmed. <laughs> but he will be. But I, hopefully. I, I think it's custody. half a million dollars bail for um, robbery and conspiracy. Yeah. And but, with loaded firearms, yeah, too. Exactly. And the... the the 80 year old gentleman did have a heart attack following this so yeah. this wasn't a victimless as they say you know people are always trying to make excuses well the bad guy wasn't going to use his gun really really he wasn't going to use his gun uh, why bring a gun in if you're not going to use it and two they did cause harm because this elderly man i'm sure his adrenaline his heart rate went way up as he saved himself um but ended up paying a price and had a heart attack he you know he is going to be fine which is good Yep, and shame on those jerks for causing that man that type of stress. Yeah, he's, he's, probably, he's probably never had to fire that gun in his 80 years of life right. at a, a human being. Exactly. And now, at 80, he had to do it to protect his store. Yeah. The guy should have known. He walked in, look at all the American flag stuff. It's like, don't, don't walk into that. Right. But I, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm laughing because I'm trying to picture these idiots rolling into Norco from L.A., bragging to themselves about how they're going to rob the store. And when, as soon as that gun went off, they just punked up as far as they could. The other guy, he's like, there's no honor among thieves. He <laughs> no, tried to get in the car as fast as he could. He said, like, man, you're on your own. I'm out. The other guy was on the passenger side. The door was locked. He couldn't get in. It was, it was basically Keystone Cops in reverse yeah. with, with the villains. And I just, uh, uh, please pray for this gentleman. Again, we're not going to say his name. Um, but I did hear as we're filming this on Wednesday the 3rd, if I read correctly, he went back to work yesterday. Nice. And he's, he's just, he, he's Norco. Yeah. He's Norco. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that's what they do. Take care of his own. Take care of his shop. Just get back to business. So um, again, I'm wondering if they targeted the store, and if they did, what kind of homework they did. Obviously, they they went to the L.A. Unified School District, probably. That's right. Why they didn't exactly. do their homework. Exactly. Anyway, but, we thought we'd bring that story up. It's a good story. It's the second story this month of a good guy with a gun um, protecting himself or others. And absolutely. the other one was the one in what. Uh, Ohio or something, the I guy in the so. mall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So he stopped a would-be gunman who, unfortunately, did kill a couple people, but he stopped him from killing more. Yes. And he so, was a young guy, twenty-two-year-old yeah. kid. So don't let them take your guns because if they take the guns from the store owner, do you think those four idiots in the car would willingly just give up their guns and say, "Oh, right, we shouldn't have these anymore. Here you go." The bad guys are going to hold on to their guns. And that gun was illegal. It had a pistol grip, illegal. So. For all of you who say, let's take the guns away, the bad guys will still have the guns. Obviously, they transformed a gun that they probably didn't even get legally. I think they said it was a stolen car and stolen guns, yes. and it had a pistol grip on it. So thank God this gentleman was allowed to have a firearm in his store. Absolutely. And again, I know, I know I'm stepping on um, some fine glass here, but if they had guns in schools... With people that knew how to do, use them, and then yeah. a gunman comes in, and I know people say we don't, we shouldn't teach teachers how to shoot. It's like, okay, would would you rather have dead teachers or ones that are taught how to? Well, shoot? I would say not even teachers. There's, there's 
thousands of retired guards. vets out there, yeah. retired vets who would gladly stand by at their local public school and just. And here's the thing: a lot of people have the signs in the yard, ADT or whatever security things, right. and sometimes it doesn't even work. Uh-huh. Sometimes just being a presence will stop a lot of this madness from happening. Because, like I said, these bad guys, they're not as bad as they pretend to be when stuff really goes down. Yeah. yeah. When they're the bullies, but, like, any time you stand up to a bully, they go running away like this guy did. Absolutely. Right. Um, I know we probably used a lot of time. Should I go into that comment, or should we... Yeah, let's do the comment real quick, because I know well, you want to answer this it's, comment. It's a very... You want to answer this comment. Well, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of it. It's starting to get on my nerves. It's um. It's fine. It's great to finally see him get pissed off <laughs> and answer a comment pissed off. Because it's the reason he doesn't let me answer the comments. Because I get pissed and then I become aggressive. Every comment's pissed when you answer. I try and... <laughs> it, it basically, it's, it goes back to our Joyner Lucas song. and The first one. The very first one. I'm not racist. And I think I've seen... And I'm going to group this comment into one big comment from people because I've seen it no less than like... 50 times where people say oh you guys are completely off base by saying all lives matter because when you say that you're just firing back at black lives matter and you really haven't done your homework because blacks are troubled and they're being attacked blah 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 blah. so finally i had enough and i finally responded to one individual and i said you're gonna read the comment first that he said or well the it's comment long, huh? it's, it's basically I, just said because i made that thing in the video, the guy says that white, uh, All Lives Matter is a rebuttal to Black Lives to Matter. Black Lives and Matter. I made the comment saying no because it encompasses Black Lives. But people said they make all these stupid analogies. Yeah. One made a really stupid analogy about fishing or something, or whales. The whales. Yeah. And then the other guy who made the uh, the comment about 9-11, that'd be like saying all buildings matter yeah, because so that stupid. building got hit. I'm this like, is, This is the mentality we're dealing oh, with. Oh, you stupid. So I'm going to read this really quick so you understand the comment because it's come from, like I said, no less than 50 people. And I said, honestly, the response to Black Lives Matter should be no beep. That mantra would be valid if you could point to a group of people who are saying that Black Lives don't matter with their actions and, and their statements. Wait, there is a group who says that Black Lives don't matter with their statement and, and actions. It's other blacks. <laughs> Hold on here. I lost my point here. Um, yes, I agree. Black lives matter. And when blacks stop killing each other in an astronomical rate through homicide, poor diet, lack of exercise and abortions, maybe you can start to focus on the minuscule percentage of black lives that are lost to white cops. Although that's a very small number. And let's keep in mind, those blacks usually aren't complying with the law anyway. And then I went through these numbers really quick, and you can find this on Statista.com. And I'll, I mean, I'll Brian put it up. In 2020, in the, uh, the summer of love, 243 blacks were shot by police. 449 white people were shot. In 2021, 177 black people were shot compared to 302 white people. And this year so far, 58 black people were shot by police compared to 109 white people. And I told this individual, these aren't Statistics I made up, you can pull them up yourself if you want to do your own homework. And I said, and before you use the cop out that blacks only comprise 13% of the population, I said, you can throw that out because you need to know that although we comprise 13% of the population, we commit 50% of the crimes. So you would still think that blacks would be shot at a more astronomical rate than whites. Um, and that's it. That, that's basically, I just said that. So, yes, I'm going to go back to my statement and conclusion. All lives do matter. White, black, Hispanic, Asian. I said, you can go to any major Democratic or blue city in the United States. And I know that as a black man, my life is more likely to be snuffed out by another black man than the police. In fact, that I, statistic uh, would go way down with the cops and the suspects if they would just comply. 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 Because have we seen, have we seen other than that kid who got shot with a toy gun? Okay, bad shooting, possibly. But most of the ones we see, the George Floyds, the uh, Jacob Blake, Blake's. Jacob Blake, uh, the Michael, Michael Brown. Brown, these are all people that didn't uh, comply when the police asked them to either go on the ground, put their hands behind their back. That's not the time for you to say, why? Why are you doing this to me? You do it, and then you talk about it afterwards. You don't right. fight with them. And that's why gentlemen like this have to take matters into their own hands and protect their business and protect what they've worked for. Yeah. Uh, it's getting, I didn't want to get too irritated about this. But, uh, All right. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, next week, Brian is knows yet, we are going to be doing the new Samson video. 
We've been getting a lot of people <laughs> telling us to do Sam. Well, we like Sam. That'll so. be coming out next Tuesday. So make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell, and continue being good to each other. And please keep this elderly gentleman in your thoughts and prayers. Until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. See you later. Thank you.